There is no excuse why you should not be healed now. There's no reason why you should not be healed now. The Bible says there is no name under heaven that is given to us through which we might be saved apart from the name of Jesus Christ. And God says, if you receive Jesus, you become a son. If also you believe on his name, you become a son. John chapter 1 verse 12. But to as many as received him, to them God gave power to become the sons of God, even to those that believe on his name. If you believe on his name, God saves you. In John 3, 13 to 17, Jesus speaking says to us, No man has ever ascended up to heaven, but he the son of God which came down from heaven, who also right now is in heaven. He said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, when Israel sinned, and God sent fiery serpents to destroy them. And they cried to God through Moses. And God said, prepare a serpent of brass, place it on a pole, take it to the hill and plant it there, and go tell them, if you are beaten by a fiery snake or serpent, because you have sinned against me, and you are dying, and you don't want to die, stay where you are and look to that serpent of brass. Those that heard, believed, and looked. They were forgiven of their sins and healed of their sicknesses. Jesus said, as Moses lifted up that serpent in the wilderness, and those who looked by faith, we are forgiven of their sins and we are healed. Just as that serpent was lifted up, even so must Jesus, the Son of God, be lifted up on the cross. So that everyone, whosoever believes, not look, whosoever believes that himself took our infirmities when they are on the cross. Whosoever believes that he took our sins when he died on the cross. Whosoever believes himself took our curses, our sufferings. Whosoever believes he bore our griefs, our pain, our sorrows. All the evils that are bedeviling mankind. Whosoever believes that himself took it shall not just be forgiven, but shall be healed. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the whole world through him might be saved, might be healed, might be delivered, might be made whole, might be restored. The will of God is for you to be free from every sickness and be restored to eternal life, sustainable life, incorruptible life, indestructible life, life that can never diminish or wane until the day you will depart from this earth. The kind of life Christ has now, the kind of life he has given me, which I have right now, I embody divinity in me right now. The fullness of the Godhead dwells in me right now. I will look younger as I grow in age. Mark my words. The more I grow in age, the younger I look as the days of a tree, so are my days. If you understand our daily benefits, your youth is to be renewed. I drive vehicles. I've, I've used plenty driver's licenses since 1999 when I began driving. <laughs> if one is expiring, you renew it. Before, some three years, some five years. I do five, five years anyway now. Renew five years. Once it is expired, you renew it and it stays relevant for the next five years. God says your youth is to be renewed daily. It's a benefit. So God wants you to be ever green, ever fresh, ever held. Nara kuprahanida. Zuzwara piketo na siyalakana. Erande pura kanatusia. Now I challenge any devil attacking your head right now. I bind them and I cast them out. Get out! In the name of Jesus Christ, I release you from every word of the devil. Be free. In Jesus' mighty name.
Anyone is level. There's no reason why you should not be healed, whether you are born again or not. Chapter 20 of Genesis. Chapter 20 of Genesis. I will read from verse 14 to verse 18. And Abimelech took sheep and oxen and men servants and women servants and gave them unto Abraham and restored him, Sarah, his wife. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before you. Dwell where it pleaseth you. Take my landed property. Take my oxen. Take my sheep. Take my men servants. Take my women servants. I give them to you. I give you a wife. And I give you landed property. Giving, giving, giving. And unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given the brother a thousand pieces of silver. He gave him money also. Behold, he is to thee a covering of the eyes unto all that are with thee and with all others. Thus she was reproved. Verse 17. So, as a result of this giving, so Abraham prayed unto God and God healed Abimelech, a hidden king, an unbeliever then. One who was outside the covenant. Abraham prayed to God because he gave. He restored to Abraham what he took from Abraham. Abraham prayed for him and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maid servants and all the household who God has shut their wombs and made barren. Abraham prayed and God healed all of them and their bare children. For the Lord had first closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. He wasn't born again. He took Abraham's wife. He was a hidden king. Yet Abraham prayed and God healed Abimelech, healed his wife, healed all the household members and they were set free from that evil disease of barrenness. I don't care what you have. Cancer, barrenness, diabetes, glaucoma, maybe arthritis, stroke, maybe tumor, maybe myeloma, cardiomyopathy, heart failure, kidney failure, organ failure, whatever it is. God wants you here today. There is no sickness that gives God joy. God is not happy in the death of sinners. God wants everyone saved, everyone healed, and come to repentance. I therefore say to you, your healing is available now. All you need is to believe that the Lord sent me to bring healing to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, and you'll be healed. There's nothing more. Christ has paid the full price. You have to suffer again. All you need is faith in what Christ has done and in the one he has sent. Two things. Believe. He said, as many as received him, God gave power to become God's sons. And when Christ left, he sent us. He said, very very to you, whosoever shall receive you, receives me. Whoever receives me, receives the Father who sent me. John 13 verse 20. Luke 10 verse 16. If you want to receive Christ now, receive his messengers. Believe in Christ, believe his messengers. That's all. And then you'll be free. I speak to your life right now, to your body. Whatever the devil may have planted into your system to destroy you, I command them out. Now, I release you from every hold of the wicked. I command peace restored to your body. I command sound restored to your body in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new day for you. Be blessed and be healed and healthy in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Peace.